Thanks for joining us here at 10. I'm Michael Clark. Wi-Fi hotspots in Hattiesburg Public Parks are one step closer to being a reality after a vote by the Hattiesburg City Council tonight. Our Kyra Lampley was at this meeting this evening and has more on the need. Soon Wi-Fi hotspots will be installed at some of the parks around the hub city. City leaders say this is in response to the COVID-19 pandemic where many community members struggled gaining access to internet. Absolutely, as we saw through COVID, people want to be able to get outside and, and being outside and being able to utilize a computer and work on your computer or phone uh, through Wi-Fi that's gonna be provided by the city, I think will just expand opportunities for people uh, that may not have the opportunity to have that Wi-Fi at their house. The project is funded through the CARES Act. The funding was allotted back in 2020 and focused on making sure communities were prepared for a future pandemic or shutdown. What we saw as a community, what we heard from our residents with, with surveys is that connectivity and Wi-Fi was a big issue, particularly in, in some of our areas that are more disadvantaged in wards two and five. And, and that's why those eight sites were put forward um, as in, in this proposal from, from C Spire. And so um, we're, we're excited to see this work get going. The Wi-Fi will be installed at eight parks, including Tatum Park, Vernon Damer Park, Chain Park, Duncan Lake, Dewitt Sullivan Park, the C.E. Roy Walking Trail, and East Side Park. In Hattiesburg, I'm Kyra Lampley, WDAM 7 on your side. All right now, there is not a set time frame for the project to be complete, but Mayor Toby Barker says he hopes that it's in the works by spring of 2024.